Hey guys, uh, the sleeves that I will be showing off in this video, in this deck profile, are from Imperium Duelist. They are a card supply company um, online. They do these special illusion effect sleeves. They're small size, so they can fit your Vanguard, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, Vanguard and Yu-Gi-Oh. This little insignia, I think it's pretty neat. They come in packs of 60 too, so pretty good. Um, what they are is they are nice durable sleeves with a uh, special illusion effect. So like this one is a shatter effect. I've got this one with a um, like sparkle effect to it. Uh, so the nice, like add a little spicy flair to your cards. So get them checked out. Uh, in case you don't like the sparkle, also they have Imperium armor sleeves. You know, they're just like tough, durable sleeves. They're like a matte texture. Uh, they shuffle really well. It's super comfortable to shuffle them. I don't know why my camera is still doing this. Just like really clean. They don't kind of like, like their corners don't stick together. And another thing I noticed is that this is a fresh batch, by the way. When you put it down, your your sleeves don't kind of like slide off like a lot of Ultra Pro or like like. Pro Mat, not, not promo, but mainly ultra pro, like just basic ultra pro sleeves do. When you kind of set them down after a new set of sleeves, they just kind of like, like, this is my deck. Oh, these don't do that, which is really nice. If you're going to make a purchase, if you use the code NexusCore10OFF, you can get 10% off your purchase. Definitely check them out. It's Imperium Duelist. Again, the link will be in the description along with the code. With that said, let's get into my Aquaforce deck profile. Hey guys, Miles from Nexus Core here, bringing you my V Aquaforce deck profile. Um, so I guess we'll just go right in. Uh, it's Excel, in case y'all didn't already know that. Um, so the first one is our starter, Officer Cadet Eric. Standard, when rode upon, draw a card. Um, I only run three Maelstrom, because running four is probably a mistake. It's kind of not a good card. Um, its skill is act, counterblast one once per turn, and all units in your front row gain 3k until end of the turn. I already have a problem with this skill because um, it it's an act skill, not a continuous. So if it were something like continuous, all units in your front row gain 3k because there are cards that switch positions. So when you switch positions with some of those cards, the cards that you switch into the front row do not gain that power because they were not present in the front row at the use at the using of this at the activation of this skill. So it's just like that's already like a bad design, I feel. Like I, I, I just, I hate it, <laughs> as simple as that. And then its other ability, its other skill is uh, on Vanguard, auto once per turn, when your rear guard's attack hits a Vanguard, if it is the third or fourth battle of that turn, no more, no less, discard two cards from your hand and stand this unit. <sighs> it's like, okay. So your opponent takes the first two hits and they guard the second and the third and fourth. Sorry. It's just like, and on top of that, you have to discard two. It's like maybe discard one. That would have been cool. I get that discard two. It's a break even, but like, it's just, <laughs> it's not good. And like it, it already has that like, you know, near auto loss to, um, force clans because Excel versus force sucks. Uh, they get one trigger and all of your attacks are shut down. So it's just like, could have been so much more it could have been so much better if he were even like third battle or more than restand it but no third or fourth um granted i don't think you can hit the fifth battle very easily but or on rear guard but like this card is just it's it's really not the like main card of the deck that technically it would go to the four copies I run of Naval Gazer. Oh, by the way, all the grade threes in this deck have an um, Excel gift. Uh, this ability is uh, when it attacks, I, I don't like holding it like that because of the blur, but when it attacks, if it is the third battle of that turn or more, counterblast uh, one and stand one of your rear guards, and then this unit gains 10k. Um, I still think that that's better than Maelstrom in a lot of situations. Uh, actually, how I would play it is push with Maelstrom just to kind of like get your opponent to that like fourth, fifth damage and then try and finish with Naval Gazer because um, it can actually pull off a lot more uh, combos just with like the restanding rear guards and like just different, um, just like different on hit pressure, uh, you know, restand your Excel unit that already restood. So you have like three, at least 19 K attacks. Um, and then they student gains 10k. I kind of like that, but I think I would like it more if it gave the standing unit 10k. Granted, this makes your Vanguard more threatening, so it's a bit better than, like, I mean, it's, it's not, I, I don't, I, I think it's, um, it can be better in situations, uh, but I've played against this deck a good amount of times to notice, like, this card's pretty solid, um, when it comes onto the field and they've got, like, the, th like, three other rearguard attacks, it's, it's pretty threatening. It's like, oh, I need to, like, worry about an Excel circle and, 
the Vanguard swinging for, you know, over 22k, and then these other two rearguards that are restanding and or gaining power. It's it's actually, like, a lot to take in. Um, then I'm running one Storm Rider Diamantus. Uh, its first ability is on Vanguard Rearguard when it attacks. If it's the first battle of that turn, this unit gains 3k until the end of the turn. So if it attacks for the first battle, it's at a permanent 15k for the turn, which is pretty nice. It, like, if you're restanding it on Excel Circle or something, that's two 25k attacks. Um... Granted, the plus 5k doesn't matter too much until you see what its second skill is. Uh, when it attacks, if it is the third battle of that turn or more, counterblast one and discard a card from your hand, stand this unit, and it gets minus 3k. So standing it, like, let's say you swing with this card in an Excel circle for that first third battle, kinda sucks. Like, really not that good, because you're swinging for 22... But the moment you swing for the third battle, he loses the 3k. So you're already dropping the number by his first attack. So rather than like a 22k attack and then a 19k attack, it's just two 19k attacks. And those, again, one trigger can shut it down, even if you're fighting an Excel or Protect deck. Um, however, if you swing with it for the first battle, it becomes 15k. Then using Naval Gazer, you restand it. And because it's third battle or more, like a well-designed card should be, uh, it retains the 3k for the, its first, it gains 3k for its first battle, so it's 25k. Then when you restand it, you swing again, and it's another 22k attack. So both of them are threatening towards, um, force, or, uh, excel and protect. So just a solid card. Um, I would even consider running it a two of, I just do not like the idea of having to ride it. Um, there's also the other grade three, uh, I think I have it over here that I want to test out a little bit more, but, um, I feel like this is a more consistent build. Riptide Dragon, uh, continuous, it can only attack on the fourth battle, or more, and when it attacks, it gains 20k, so you put on Excel Circle for that, uh, 42k attack, that's, that's pretty threatening in itself, I actually lost to that deck in tournament a few weeks ago, solely because of that card, um, just makes you drop a lot. So that's it for the grade threes, moving into the grade twos, we run four... Marine General of the Restless Tides, those Endless Tides, Restless Tides Algos. Um, Y'all remember this guy from the original Aqua Force deck way back in April of 2013. Uh, he was like the, the TD exclusive uh, grade two, but its skill is um, much better than the last one. Uh, on Vanguard, when it attacks, if it's the second blood of that turn or more, counter bust one and soul bust one and stand one of your rear guards. So it's nice for an early game push, which is what Excel decks kind of should, well, excel at doing. Uh, that's not right because they know the draw engine for that. Um, what they should be doing. And uh, its other skill is on rearguard. When it attacks, if it's the first battle of that turn only, counterblast one and stand itself. So, you know, put it on Excel Circle. You got two 19k pokes. And um, given that it's like you're going to use him for the uh, first, at least the first, um, what is it? At least the first two attacks. Or at most, at most the first two attacks, at least the first attack. Um your opponent will feel more inclined to take it anyway. So, like, greater power doesn't matter too much. The 19k isn't that big of a deal, plus you're going to have your booster for this first battle. No, you're not going to have a booster unless it's on rearguard, my bad. Uh, unless it's on a column. Um, but anyway, it's just like, it, it, the fact that it restand itself can add for a lot of versatility. Um, I like its first skill, too, on Vanguard. Just the idea of, like, it applying extra pressure uh, on the early game is really nice. And, um... Because you can only stand itself during the first battle, it's not a big deal that it, like it doesn't gain any power because you're not trying to use it in the later, um, like the the higher attacks. Uh, that's for like Basil or um, well Diamantas. Uh, so continuing on, we have four Tidal Assault. Uh, once per turn on rearguard, when it attacks, you can soul blast one and stand this unit. And if it is the second battle of that turn no more, it gets minus 5k. So this is like kind of an upgrade of the original title assault, which was, you know, just when it attacks a vanguard, stand it with minus 5k. It must be restored with minus 5k. Um, this one, it's nice because the deck counterblasts a bit. Like most of the cards have counterblast skills. This one is a soul blast. Um... And uh, you don't really dig into your soul that much. So just having this card be only soul blast related for its skill is um, pretty nice. Uh, and if you swing with it for the first battle, then it doesn't gain any minus. It's like, okay, it becomes, it's a 9k if you swing. or And it can be used early game too. So um, pretty nice early game versatility, like comboed with Algos. 
you know, for like, that's, that's three attacks off of, um, sorry, that's four attacks off of just two units. So pretty nice for the aggressive plays. Then we got, I keep forgetting that some people don't like that. <laughs> I got a three storm rider Basil, um, on rearguard when it attacks the Vanguard. If it is the third battle of that turn or more, counter boss one, it gains 5k until the end of that battle. But if it is the fourth battle of that turn or more, it gains 10k instead. So I'm running this solely because... I wanted something... You you really want to put more pressure on... Well, not necessarily. You want to make... You want to, like, add more power to your um, third and fourth attacks. So having Basil make those attacks is um, a definite, like... It's it's one of the more viable options for the deck. Um, so, like, I'd rather kind of get my weaker... As I said, I'd rather get, like, my Algos off in the first and second battle and then have Basil go off in, like, the third and fourth um, solely because it gains more power. So regardless if it gains 5, five or 10k, if this card is on an Excel circle, then you're already swinging for... Um, uh, you're, I mean, well, if it gains 10k, you're swinging for force numbers as well as Excel and Protect. If it gains the 5k, you're swinging for the latter two, um, which it just, you know, it, it it adds good, like, like your opponent is going to, they don't want Maelstrom to restand. It's not a good card, but if it restands, you're still getting a second Vanguard attack that your opponent doesn't want to deal with. So um, if you're able to uh, force them to at least drop more when they're guarding for Maelstrom because if it's two 19k attacks or even like 16k pokes, they're just going to be like, oh, okay, all right, 5k, 5k, whatever, not a big deal. Um, but uh, so I don't know why I said 16. I don't have any of that in this deck. It would be 17. But <laughs> same thing though. It's just like they're they're not, you know, they're just like, okay, whatever. I'll just drop like one single card. This forces your opponent to drop a bit more. Um, and, uh, and also, like, you can combo in with Naval Gazer as well, just for, like, you can do, um, if you really want to burn through the resources, you can use this card, uh, can, can you do it twice? Can you do this card, third battle, and then Naval Gazer, is it for the fourth? And is it third battle this turn or more? Yeah, so you can, you can. You could do this skill once, rest it, and then restand with Naval Gazer and use its skill again for a higher power. Um, so there's just, like... Like it's it's nice for the um, the aggro game. Uh, it helps um, pressure your opponent on your maelstrom turn. Just kind of make sure that you like maximize the amount your opponent's dropping, which is what that's like important about Aqua Force. It's knowing how much you can force your opponent to drop in a turn. Um, so just I, I don't like running it a four of because again, it's something for like a late game. It's something. Um, you uh you want to use for like your not for your first and second battle so i'd rather run more cards that you know well more restanders also that's kind of important um so just a three of i'd keep it at that uh and then i run two tier knight lazarus uh one more thing um just to add to that uh another semi-viable option is shotgun assault my friend was using this it's a pretty great card um it's another card that it's like basil it uh when it attacks Vanguard to the third battle of that turn or more, you Soul Blast one and it gains 8k. So it becomes a 17k alone, so it's just a nice poke. 27k on an Excel circle is definitely something I would love to have um, easy access to. And again, it's like Tidal Assault where it uses the Soul as a resource instead of the Counter Blast that the deck already kind of burns through. So um, also a viable card. If Basil doesn't really work out for me and I feel like it's a little too Counter Blast heavy, I will definitely switch over to Shotgun Assault and I would recommend you guys do the same. Um, but so far, I'm not having any issues with Basil. Um, but, you know, that could change. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> I run two Tier Knight Lazarus. Um, on Vanguard or Rearguard, when it attacks a Vanguard, if it is the second battle of that turn or more, it gains 3k. So, it's like, okay, what of it? It's a 12k poke. And that's just the thing. You put on Excel Circle, it's a 22k. Um, early game, it's... I mean, okay... An early game doesn't really matter that much, but like it's the fact that unboosted, you don't need to worry about boosting this card, and you can focus on powering up your greater columns, and you can use this as your second attack to already poke at your opponent's vanguard. The one complaint I have is that it's only against vanguard and not rearguard, because you have to attack with it for the second battle, so it's like, with your plays, you kind of want to do like rear if you're on maelstrom you want to do rear guard to rear guard um vanguard to vanguard or vanguard to rear guard because you don't want to give them the extra damage trigger to um you know increase their chance like increase uh, or rather decrease 
the amount of cards they need to drop to guard your uh, third and fourth battles. Um, you really want to make sure that your opponent's at least dropping as many cards as possible as you can make them um, for those third and fourth. So typically you would do your first two attacks against the rear guard, uh, which it's not a big deal because if you're in a situation like where you don't really need to go into Maelstrom, like your opponent's at five damage or something, then this card's great because it's a 22k poke um, on an Excel circle, uh, 12k poke on re just regular rear guard, and like 20k boosted, whatever. Some of the cards gain power as well when they boost, so... Do they? Is that what Basil do Theo does? No. <laughs> and it doesn't matter. Um, it's just like, it, it, it allows for, it's, vers it's, it's, it's very like versatile. Um, so on top of Maelstrom, you can just like, you can do 19k to your, to your opponent's rear guards. You don't need to use its skill, but the fact that it's 19k to another 9k, you know, if your opponent does want to drop for that card, they do need to drop like a critical or something greater. So just a nice card. Um, I don't want to run too many of it. Uh, I might put like title sold down to three and put this up to um, three as well, just to see how that works. But so far, I like keeping it the two of because it's not super necessary to see. I'd rather see my restanders. They allow for a lot more like plays, and um, uh, it's it's kind of like situational. Like there may be times where I don't see Maelstrom at all, and in that case, um, I don't really like it. Well. Whether I see most or not, this card works, so maybe you should put it a 3 of. Maybe I'm just, like, realizing stuff as I go on, which happens a lot in my Aquaforce deck profiles. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the Grade 1s, we got 4, Tier Knight Theo. Um, on Vanguard Rearguard, when it attacks... Wait, no. When its attack or the attack it boosted hits a Vanguard, if it's the second battle of that turn or more, choose one of your units and it gains 8k. I really like this card because you can turn a bunch of stuff into like a bunch of your restanding rear guards into higher powered units. And the fact that it goes off on the second battle is great because again, your opponent wants to take those first and second battle, uh, those first and second attacks because those aren't what's tr those aren't what <sighs> those are not what are going to trigger Maelstrom's restand. So they're like, Oh no, I don't want them to put Basil from, like, let's say you're, you do have Basil for your fourth battle and you're swinging with this, um, boosting your, like, Vanguard, you know, boosting your second, but whatever, boosting your second attack. Then your opponent's gonna be like, wow, I really want to take it, but I don't want them to give their Basil another 8k, making it 27, let's say it's on Excel Circle, 37k, just using one skill with it, um, and then Theo's boost. Yeah, 37k Basil that they need to deal with. Um, so it's like, it it allows for some, you know, like, mind games with your opponent. You know, they may want to take it, they may not want to take it. And if they do take it, then it's like, okay, I can serve shield to guard um, uh, their third and fourth battles. But now, their third and fourth battle, their third or fourth battle will have a unit with eight more 8,000 more power. So, um it's kind of like, you know, do you want the damage? Do you want to drop more? Um, so just play some, like, fun little mind games with your opponent. Uh, then I got four Battle Siren Viviana. Um, not a big fan of this card, but there wasn't many other options. Um, it's her skill is on rearguard when it attacks. When it's attack, it, when the attack it boosted hits a vanguard, if it's the third battle of that turn or more, move this unit into your soul and draw a card. I run this because it allows little bit more like on hit pressure you know your opponent doesn't really want those i i don't know i feel like it's counterintuitive just because your opponent doesn't want that third and fourth battle to hit and she only works on the third battle or more so it's like you know your opponent's already going to want to guard those ba those battles so what's the point of adding that extra like hey if this hits i get to draw they're like okay but if it hits i have to deal with the second vanguard anyway so why would i you know care um, like, why would I, that's like, you're, you're giving your opponent even more of an excuse, uh, to guard it. So, um, there's that one other grade one that like Japan is using. It's like when your unit, it's a seven K when your unit attacks for the third battle or more, every time it attacks, um, every time a unit attacks for the third battle or more, it gains three K. So like, it's kind of Aquaforce's own trans riser. Um, and it, you know, you make two attacks and, uh, it's already going to be like a 23k on an Excel circle. I know you're going to notice that I say a lot of things like on an Excel circle, and that's because it's an Excel deck, and you want to take advantage of 
the, that power. Um, that, and that's another thing. Like, I feel like if most of your attacks are going to be made on Excel circles, um, or like your bigger attacks are going to be made on Excel circles, you don't want two units that have to boost, being Theo and Viviana. So, um, I'm just using this for now because the deck does have some a bit of like hand inconsistency, uh, and giving the additional draw power is pretty nice. But um, I guess I would try like what is it called? Ar Ardent Flow Sailor or something? No, I don't think so. I don't even remember the name. But it's a grade one that came out in the same set. So yeah, maybe try that out. Then speaking of other grade ones, we got four Light Signal Penguin Soldier. My camera's doing that really weird thing that I still haven't figured out how to fix yet. Um, uh, I didn't actually win. Um, First skill is act on rearguard. You can rest this unit, and one of your units in the same column as this unit gains 5k. So, uh, nice to give it to title assault. So, not only is it, like, on your first battle will it be a uh, fort... Now that I say it, it doesn't sound too convincing. Um, oh, hey, give it to Lazarus. You got a uh, 17k poke, then, instead of a 12k poke. So, yeah, adds a little bit more power to it, and, you know, forces your opponent to drop again more than one... No. Forces your opponent to drop a little bit more um, than just a, a 5k, but in what situation will they have, you know, more than that, uh, less than that? Um, in what situation won't they have more than that? I'm, I'm really off tonight. Um, then its other skill, which I like a lot more, is when your other unit attacks, if it's the fourth battle of that turn or more, retire this unit and, soul char and counter charge one. So, as you may know... And as I've already kind of made clear, the deck does burn through Counterblast quite a bit. Like, most of the... All the Grade 3 is Counterblast. Does Maelstrom? Yeah, Maelstrom Counterblast. All the Grade 3 is Counterblast. Um, you know, the Grade... One of the Grade 2 is Counterblasts. Uh, there's just a lot of Counterblasting going on. And the fact that you can utilize this unit um, to get off those counter charges and renew your resources is super important. So, uh, and I do it four of just because it's something that I want to make sure I see. You're retiring it, so there's no way to replace it. So, the more the merrier. Yeah, And that is all for the uh, grade ones. Now we're on to the triggers. I run four crit, supersonic sailor. Four front triggers, being a dolphin soldier of high speed raids, because there are too many dragons in, this, in Aqua Force. Um, four, not the ice dildo, so it's kind of disappointing from BT-11. And four of your PG, Emerald Shield Pascal. Uh, and then you got your, uh, you know, Excel gifts. Um, fuck Maelstrom. Algus is cooler. Uh, the reason I do the four, the rainbow trigger lineup is because, um, again, Aqua Force has like a lot of, uh, it, it allows for like, it, it, it goes in tandem with the like versatility of Aqua Force. Um, so what am I trying to say here? I don't want to do like an eight front build, like a uh, Nova Grappler, um, where you kind of like, the reason is, is that units in this deck, like, you're re-standing a lot, and you want your, you know, you, like... All right, all right, here, here's why. So, if I'm swinging with Maelstrom on my second battle, then... Or first battle, even, my opponent might want to take it, because they're like, well, that's the attack that's not going to re-stand Maelstrom. And then, all of a sudden, you see a crit. Now your opponent isn't just more pressured into guarding, like... Well, okay, now, you know, you're like, well, I can just give the crit to my vanguard, push my opponent for more damage, and then I can power up the rear guard that they're already worried about guarding. So, it, like, it, you know, it just, the crits add some extra pressure onto your opponent, but the front triggers also add that extra power to, bo to bolster both your third and fourth battles. So, I feel like both are viable to use in this deck. Um, and obviously, you need the draws because, one, they're PGs, and two, they're draw triggers in Aqua Force. Um, so, as of now, Rainbow Triggers seem to be the best bet. Um, I would... The only thing I would maybe consider is trying out, like, either six crit and two front, or do, like, you know, or do, like, like a, a, a six two or two six. Oh, no. What is this? Oh, shit. I don't know if this last part's going to be uploaded, but uh, my camera just ran out of space, so that's real cool. Richard. Fix this. <laughs>